Welcome to Boss Automotive. 9 Reasons Why the 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon JL is Killer Off-Road From beefier axles to courageous slither proportions, here's a more critical take a gander at what makes the JL a trail hero. The 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL Rubicon is as great on the trail as it looks on paper, something we found in our first drive audit. Be that as it may, there's a whole other world to its slashes than additional ground freedom and live axles. Here's a more critical take a gander at 9 of the newer enhanced highlights that add to its amazing capacity. 1. Axles that don't twist. The old Wrangler JK Rubicon's pivot specs sound exceedingly solid. All things considered, there was a Dana 44 at each end, a pivot that past served under the suspension of full measure pickup trucks for a long time. That ought to be pointless success for a Wrangler, isn't that so? Not really. A Dana 44 isn't generally a similar hub crosswise over different applications. Also, the one Jeep utilized as a part of the front of the JK Rubicon had lighter obligation pivot tubes. Along these lines, when subjected to substantial going romping and the worries of bigger tires, it used to twist. Jeep settled all that with the new JL, so the organization could run bigger 285-70R17, 33-inch, tires on the new Rubicon. That is up from the 255-75R17, 32-inch, tires on the JK Rubicon. These new Dana 44 axles are beefier with more grounded and thicker tubes and also more grounded forgings. The front pivot has a 8.26-inch ring gear and the back utilizations a bigger 8.66-inch unit. 2. More tightly turning. Those Dana 44 axles aren't simply more grounded, they're 1.5 inches more extensive, as well. Furthermore, that helped the specialists outline an all the more controlling point into the new JL, so it could cut a one foot more tightly turning circle than the old model. The change is sure about the road and on the trail. In spots where a JK Wrangler would require an additional three point turn, the better and brighter one cuts the bend in one elegant move. That enhanced readiness is useful when shakes slithering an extreme trail on the grounds that the less moves implies less opportunities to stall out. The new guiding parts are more grounded, as well. One take a gander at the huge MB 1.73-inch tie bar running over the hub and it's unmistakable the guiding framework has been intended to deal with extensive tires and rehashed shake bashing. Since the Wrangler's guiding section the two tilts and telescopes, it's simpler to locate an agreeable place from which to take control. 3. Smoother suspension developments. The Wrangler has dependably been great at moderate speed trail work. Be that as it may, while handling rough soil streets or even the horrendous potholed asphalt segments of a run-of-the-mill city, Wranglers weren't exceptionally smooth riding. The most concerning issue was head hurl. The Wrangler's body shake in side to side on the suspension, making everybody locally available somewhat nauseous. That is dispensed with on the new Wrangler JL. Boss architect Brian Lays says a major piece of the arrangement was to raise the vehicle's move focus by moving the track bar. In spite of the fact that the general wheel go of the suspension is about the same, the group repositioned and bring down control arms on the pivot lodging, somewhat changing the geometry over the Wrangler JK. This adds to a ride that is much smoother and preferred disconnected from the landscape over ever previously. 4. Enormous Tar Leeway In case you're hoping to mount huge tires onto your Wrangler, it's best to begin with the Rubicon. The new Rubicon has one-of-a-kind bumper flares and wheel openings to oblige the 33-inch BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires from the manufacturing plant. Those robust tires mean huge ground freedom picks up, there's just about 11 crawls under the differentials. On Jeep's shake creep course, we never hit a diff on a stone. What's more, the Jeep spotters working the course revealed to us that their own particular Rubicon JK bolster vehicles had a detectably harder time making the climb. The Rubicon steel guards give an incredible 44 degrees of approach edge in advance and 37 degrees in the back, so you can nose the Jeep onto huge shakes, and withdraw once more, without touching metal. On account of the hub updates and bumper freedom, Jeep says you can run 35-inch tires with only a 2-inch lift. That is a major blessing to Jeep fans in light of the fact that previously, proprietors expected to lift the Jeep by 3 to 4 inches, trim the bumper flares or introduce high leeway flares to oblige those tires at most extreme suspension pressure and guiding lock. 5. Fast Grease Windshield 
Jeep realizes that few individuals really crease down the windshield on their Wranglers. The element has been set up since the principal Willys and B models of the 1940s. Be that as it may, when the JK Wrangler was propelled in 2007, the procedure ended up relentless, requiring the expulsion of 28 jolts. It was restrictively tedious. Furthermore, in light of the fact that the containers of the security confine were shot straight forwardly the windshield, when you brought down it, you lost structure. Presently, there were only four jolts remaining amongst you and outside flexibility. Furthermore, Jeep has built the header to stay set up when the windshield is brought down. Truth be told, even the rear view reflect remains set up. The whole confined structure is made out of hardened ultra high quality steel bars, so whether the windshield of the JL is up or down, it feels strong. What's more, that joint no sweat of bringing down that windshield will probably prompt more four-wheelers really encountering totally outdoors jeeping. 6. 4WD Up Front Four-wheelers were overwhelmed by the first DJ Rubicon show in 2003. One reason? The electric locking front and back differentials. Basically press the switch and these lockers would send control similarly to each wheel on a hub for genuine footing. Those catches were noticeably shown in the inside support in front of the shifter on TJ and early JK Rubicons. In any case, when Jeep rebuilt the JK Wrangler inside for 2012, Jeep chose to cover them to one side of the guiding wheel where they are hard to access and see in brilliant daylight. In this way, it was normal to be in an intense spot on the trail, go after the catch to turn on the front locker, and erroneously kill the back one. No more. Jeep has gone to a straightforward flip switch. Press down to turn on the back locker and up to turn on both the front and back. They've by and by mounted the switches only in front of the shifters and even encompassed them in brilliant red trim, so they're anything but difficult to discover and utilize. 7. Suspension Shake, Eliminated The body on outline structure of the old Wrangler JK was solid, yet there were many conditions when it would shudder and quiver over Knox rough terrain. When driving on a soil fire street at speed, the Wrangler's directing section would shake and shimmy, as would the windshield. You could hear and feel the quivers in the body. That has been cured on the new JL. The offender was the casing, as indicated by Boss Architect Lays. The all-new edge is currently completely boxed with the hydrofirmed front area and utilizations 80% high-quality steel, a major bounce, Lays says, over the JK. Torsional solidness has been expanded by 18% as well. The twisting solidness is about equivalent to the current JK. The new edge is really 100 pounds lighter than the old one also, and there's another outline for all the body mounts which adds to much better separation from the street or trail. 8. Levers just, please. With regards to 4WD, the Rubicon keeps it basic. Jeep knew its clients weren't occupied with a modern framework like the handle-controlled, multi-mode select terrain in the Grand Cherokee. Lay's days of framework like that was never on the radar for the Rubicon, the Sahara, in any case, will get something marginally unique, select track. Clients stated, we need to have that lever don't upset it, said Lay's. Thus they cleared out the exchange case itself generally the same as the active Wrangler JK Rubicon. Be that as it may, there's an all-new manual transmission which is accessible just on the V6 Demonstrate. This new D478 gearbox is as yet a 6-speed yet has a more profound 5.13 to 1 first rigging proportion. What's more, that implies a manual transmission Rubicon with 4.10 to 1 pivot triggings will have a slither proportion of 84 to 1. The new 8-speed program has a more profound first rigging than the old 5-speed program too. So auto-prepared Wrangler Rubicons can deal with a slither proportion of 77.2 to 1. Those are gallant numbers and it implies the JL can crawl along a trail more gradually than some other 4x4, and have the best possible adapting to turn bigger than stock tires appropriate off the showroom floor. 9. Try not to fear the 4. For quite a long time, Wrangler enthusiasts have longed for a discretionary V8 motor in the engine. Be that as it may, rather than the throaty snarl of a Hemi, Jeep is putting forth a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-chamber as the discretionary gas motor over the V6. We were wary. However, in the wake of investing energy with the two motors on asphalt and off, we observed it to be a fantastic power plant. The V6 influences 285 horsepower to up at 6,400 revolutions per minute. 
The 2.0 liter may make somewhat less, 270 horsepower, yet it crests at a lower 5,350 revolutions per minute. Considerably all the more telling, the four-chamber creates greater torque, a sound 295 pounds to foot at 3,000 revolutions per minute. The V6 grows only 260 pounds to foot and does it far up at 4,600 revolutions per minute. The outcome, as indicated by our casual stopwatch timing, is a 0 to 60 miles per hour run that is reliably around a moment faster, 7 seconds versus 8 seconds, in models furnished with the four-chamber. Furthermore, when driving trails, the four-barrel conveys more torque, sooner. On Jeep's no-nonsense 4WD test trail, we crept the territory in the Rubicon with this new four-chamber and never felt it lacking for torque. Obviously, once Jeep's Echozo with 442 pounds to foot of to work winds up accessible in 2019, we may need to rethink our alternatives.